the sequel and a Men in Black film that nobody wanted. <laughs> Men in Black International. Now, after LIB recruit a Mo Molly, a.k.a. Agent M, into MIB, she must work together with Agent H, played by Chris Hemsworth, to save the world from an um, alien species that is planning to destroy the world. Now, during a escort where they're, going, they're protecting a certain alien friend of Agent H, they discover there's something wrong with Men in Black. They must work together. Uh, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth play Agent M and Agent H must work together to try and stop, find out what's going on and again, save the world. I don't know why the hell they made this. This is utter garbage. I mean, where do I start? The storyline's good, but I'll tell you something. The, it's messy all around. It's just mess. It's muddled. It's puzzled. There's... The script is terrible. The characters are bad. They force humour so much in this. They're trying to make you laugh. And I love Chris Hemsworth in films. I really do. But my God, he irritated me so much in this. Honestly, I just wanted him to stop because he was just absolutely getting on my nerves. His humour is not funny. It's not hilarious. It is irritating. So you've got Tessa Thompson who plays Agent M. She is... Had an encounter with an alien, and now she wants to prove herself to be MIB material. She's good in it, okay? She's okay. She, she's decent. Chris Hemsworth, it plays Agent H. Ridiculous, annoying, hated him. He's a good actor, but that's all he did. He just acted in this. You've got Emma Thompson, who plays Agent O, was returning. Again, another kind of character that, that was just in it. And then you had, uh, of course, um, Liam Neeson, who played Agent T, who is the head of the London organisation where they're working. Uh, there's, don't, there's something odd about him in the film. But again, okay. Odd, 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 the, honestly, I think the camera is everywhere. The direction is bad. There, there was hardly any chemistry. And they try and push you so much for comedy, it ruins the film. I don't know why in the hell they took out Agent J, Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. They made Men in Black. And I'm sorry to say this, without them, it is an utter... Now, I'm not sorry to say this, it's an utter disaster. The acting is poor. The storyline is terrible. I absolutely hated this film. I thought it was absolutely terrible. The chemistry is bad between two of them. They, the, I don't know, the, uh, the villain and the scheming is just all over the place. I couldn't concentrate. I kept coming out of the movie to try and make sense as to what the hell was going on. Aliens are poor. It's not, it, it's, it's lost the scare factor that Men in Black had when I was a kid. It's completely lost it. The script is terrible. Direction is terrible. Even the, there's hardly any music in it either. Um, the story's okay, and that's it. It's so overall, guys, it's bad, it's horrible. I felt nothing towards this film. It annoyed me. The comedy was not funny. It was a baby kid movie, and I think kids will probably love it. Nobody else will. It is terrible, it's bad, and I want it to burn. So for all those reasons, I'm going to give Men in Black International a grade F. So, Men in Black International, do you agree with me or maybe you liked it? Please tell me in the comment section just below this video. Please click the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to Movie Madness if you want to see any more of my movie reviews. Thanks for watching guys, have a great week and I will see you in my next movie review.